Do you see yourself as a well-watched but a hardly practiced watercolor beginner just because you simply can't find the time to paint? It feels like you have to juggle your job, your family, household, just your entire life that at the end of the day, you don't even know where all the time went. If that's you, then this video is perfect for you. Because in this video, I share some simple tips and tricks on how you can go from trying to find the time to actually making the time to paint. Define your priorities and be honest about it. First of all, if you're trapped in the mindset of I'm too busy, it can be challenging to juggle all your responsibilities and find time to do something else. But if you think about it, when you say, I don't have time, it only means that what you want to do isn't your priority. You don't choose to do this. And that's okay, because you can't do it all. And even if you feel like you're too busy, you know that there will always be room for the things in your life that are important to you, simply because they are your priorities and you choose to make time for those. And if painting is not your priority right now, that's okay too. Don't feel guilty about it. But if you feel like you desperately need something fun and relaxing to do for yourself to keep you sane and save you from burning out, you know that it's time to make yourself a priority. As I said in my previous video about how to get yourself to paint after a long day of working, putting yourself first is not being selfish. If you're at the point where you think, who the heck has time for a hobby? And you always feel like you're so busy that when you do have free time, all you want to do is nothing, that means you had headed toward burnout. And when you're burnout, you're not your best self. So how can you take care of everyone and everything else when you feel burnt out, unhappy, cranky, and constantly tired? And I said that before a million times, but it all starts with taking care of yourself first. And if you feel happy and you're in a better mood, your surrounding will notice that too. Be mindful of your time. A great way to be really mindful of your time is by tracking your time. You might be thinking that's too excessive or crazy, but if you don't know where you spend your time, you will never have enough time. It's like having no idea where you spent your money. You might be thinking, why am I always so broke at the end of the month? I didn't buy anything. But instead of closing your eyes on your bank account, you can create a list of all your subscriptions, your other daily, weekly or monthly expenses and see everything at once. This way you will clearly see where your money goes and where you might be wasting it. Maybe there's this one monthly subscription that costs you a fortune when you add it up to a year that you completely forgot about. You could have spent this money more wisely and invested it into something you really needed. The same goes for your time. You might not feel like you're wasting a lot of time, but if you track it, you might notice where all your time goes. Maybe you think you scroll Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest just for 10 minutes a day, but if you track it, you will see that it's been actually three hours maybe. Three hours that you could have spent on things that bring you more joy than comparing your behind the scenes with someone else's highlight reels, right? Having a list of all the things you do and how long it takes for you to do something puts really like everything into perspective and you can clearly see where you're wasting time and how you can be more efficient with your time. Maybe you spend hours cooking every day. So what you can try instead is prepping your meals once a week so you don't even have to think about cooking for a whole week. Make it easy for you to get started and to incorporate painting into your life. Another way to save time and to help you incorporate painting into your life is to make it easier for you to actually get started. For example, you can create a small travel pouch or an art bag so you can keep everything together and keep it near you. So you can always paint a little bit here and there when you have maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Or maybe even if you can't actively paint during a certain time, you can still create a YouTube playlist, for example, ready and filled with different tutorials for you to watch and follow along later. You can even pre-watch them so you know what to expect and then come back to them once you sit down to paint. Use little pockets of time. When your life is too busy to find just even a little time for yourself to paint each week, you know you really need to make the time. So when you have your art back, paint while watching your favorite show or something else you like. 
Maybe there is a moment during a lunch when you have to wait for a Zoom meeting to start or simply when you have an appointment. So instead of staring at the ceiling or your phone, you can paint something while you wait. Some people even take their art bags on a trip and paint in the passenger seat while driving to different places. I feel like sometimes we all get this thought of having a perfect setup or studio to paint get into our head that thinking of painting in a doctor's waiting room seems really odd. But by having these little pockets of time actually using them, you can document your day so you can look back to see where you were, what you did and things like that. You might not be able to change the fact that you have to work 8 to 10 hours a day and taking care of all sorts of things, but you can certainly reduce the amount of time you spend mindlessly browsing social media on your off time. And you can always paint instead of scrolling through Facebook or Instagram, right? The truth is there will never be enough time unless you make time. You can also find what time works better for you. Maybe early mornings when everyone is still asleep would work perfectly for you and you'll have something to look forward to, especially on weekends. And again, don't underestimate these little pockets of time. Especially when you want to paint more regularly to not only have some me time, but also to improve your skills. At the end of the day, it's all about staying consistent and painting regularly, no matter how little time you spend on practicing until it becomes a habit. Include your family or friends. If you have kids, why not painting with them? I still remember the time when I painted with my dad when I was little and I think children are always inspired by adults doing things they love. And if you can model creative behaviors for others, they might want to join you as well because they see how you always make some time for yourself to create and to have fun regardless of how busy you usually are. And if you have a friend who also struggles to get into the habit of making time for self-care through having a hobby like painting, why not scheduling a virtual hangout meeting? You can meet up online and paint together, chat about what you love, laugh together and just have a good time. You don't have to do your hobby alone. It's okay to be a little messy. Sometimes when I work on a project that is my top priority, like my watercolor book, I might say not only me, but also my apartment is a hot mess. That's because I know I can't dedicate much time to cleaning my home during this time. I'm honest that I can't do it all right now, so I will suck at something. Now, while you don't need to spend all your time painting as a form of self-care, even if it's your top priority, you still don't have to take care of everything all the time. Meaning a super tidy and clean home might be less important to you than making yourself happy with your art. Now you might feel more motivated and committed to incorporating watercolor painting into your daily life because you want to make time for yourself to avoid burnout. But what do you need to get started? In my next video, I'll share some of my top watercolor essentials you'll need to get started with watercolor painting. Even if you have all your supplies, you might find something new to try out as well. In the meantime, you can watch my other video about how to find time for your art and other projects where I share even more tips right there. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.